So I'm now going to measure over and locate where I need to drill the hole to run the half inch PVC through the, the side of the house into the basement. I know that just above this window here there is three inches of sill and then uh, uh, the, the joist, the floor joist. And I want to end up in an area between the floor joist but yet, and yet be in an area close to where I have my electrical outlet downstairs in, in the basement. Um, so I, if I measure up from, to, the, to the bottom of the joist, it, it's about an inch from the bottom of this board up to the bottom of the sill and then the three inches for the sill and then I want to be another inch and a half above that. So that's, that's a total of four and a half inches. Or, or rather three plus one plus an inch and a half gives me five and a half inches on my math is off today Okay I'm going to start just by cutting a, a random length just to run wild into the inside that I'll cut the end off later when I go in to install the, the pump. So, uh, this is a tubing cutter, a PVC tubing cutter. It makes uh, doing this kind of work real quick and easy, provided you don't cut yourself. It will take your finger off. All right, that's where we start. We're just going to dry fit everything for the, to start with and uh, make sure everything fits properly and then come back and uh, uh, glue it all together once we get done okay so I'm, go I'm dropping down about three feet from where I pass through the wall and now I'm going to follow the bottom of the trench now my trench comes over and then I have a 45 degree angle before I can go straight and then go make another 45 degree angle into the into the riser uh, to the genie. Uh, a lot of times hopefully you're not having to go around uh, bushes and and things like that so you can ha you'll have a straight shot from wherever uh, you mount your pump to where the riser is. Be a little longer actually. Now that we're, we've run the, P, the half inch PVC this far, I'm going to drill a 15 16 inch hole in through the side of the riser uh, and so we can run the airline in. And, and we're into the riser there. And the blue, so you can see that you've got it. Okay. I'm now marking the P a PVC to cut it as a cross piece to tie the genie unit off to it. Yeah, this is this is the where the airline attaches to the genie, and I'm just going to once again put a little primer in there just to clean it up before we attach the airline.
and the rope gets tied off to the cross piece. You are supplied uh, with the Septic Genie, the connector piece. This will glue onto our airline coming down from the riser, and this end will actually just clamp onto the, the, the end of the, the air pump itself, and I'll show you that in a moment. Okay, I've attached the connecting tube uh, to my rigid line that runs out to the genie and now I'm going to attach it to the nipple on the on the pump itself uh, the tubing is so you can see if there's any condensation or anything happening in the line uh, and if, if that would be the, if that's the case you can just undo it and drain it out as, as needed slide this in my head is in the way I'm sure I cannot see otherwise. <laughs> and then tighten the tighten the screw down. Okay, we've finished the installation of the genie. It's on and running. And now we add the power pack, which jump starts the bacteria uh, colony in, in the tank. 